today we are going to talk about the birth control pill. This is a topic I was talking about on Instagram recently that so many of you were really enjoying the conversation about. So we're going to go a little bit deeper today. We're going to dive a little bit deeper and I'm going to give you guys some information on how to holistically heal coming off of the birth control pill. So let's first start with what is the birth control pill even? The birth control pill is a hormonal contraceptive that is often used to prevent pregnancy. It is synthetic, so it's not real, it's not bioidentical, it's not what your body's making. It is synthetic estrogen and a hormone called progestin, not progesterone. Some of the pills out there are just progestin only, but it is Estro synthetic estrogen and progestin that are combined to suppress your ovulatory cycle. So, so to shut down those signals from your brain telling your ovaries to make an egg every month. Now, a lot of women are taking the birth control pill to be able to prevent pregnancy. However, a lot of women are prescribed the birth control pill so that they can deal with symptoms like acne, like bad cramps, like really heavy periods. And the problem with that is that once you get off the pill, you're not solving the root cause of the reason that you went on the pill in the first place. So you're not really addressing the actual issue. You're just masking symptoms. There are so many side effects that are not discussed with your doctor that come along as risks with taking the birth control pill. And I think that that's the first place that we need to start. We have to talk about informed consent. Informed consent is a concept in medicine where your doctor is supposed to tell you about both the benefits, but also the risks of taking a certain medication. So what are the risks of taking the birth control pill? Now, some are more known, things like more likely to have blood clots and stroke, more likely to have breast cancer down the line because of these synthetic estrogens that are in the pill. But some of the symptoms are more unknown, like close to 25% of women and 80% of teens are in need of an antidepressant after they start taking the birth control pill. The birth control pill can cause things like micronutrient deficiencies and dysbiosis hormonal headaches and migraines. And a lot of women are actually experiencing post-pill either amenorrhea or irregular periods after getting off of the pill. And this is because the signals again from your brain to your ovaries are shut down. And so it takes some time for your body to start back up again, to rev up and to be able to start signaling properly and so a lot of women who want to get pregnant right away after they get off the pill are realizing that they're having a harder time because it can take up to an entire year and sometimes for women even longer than that for cycles to re-regulate. What should you expect coming off of the birth control pill? You may transition with ease. Your cycles may return to normal just like they were before you got on the pill. You may have a shorter luteal phase meaning the second half of your cycle might be shorter, meaning a whole shorter cycle in total. Now, if your cycle altogether is shorter than 21 days, that means that you did not have an ovulatory cycle and you wanna look into that. You want to make sure that you are waiting three to six months before you decide to try to conceive just based on getting regular ovulation back in check. And you wanna make sure that you wait three to six months before going to see a practitioner and testing your hormone levels after coming off of the birth control pill. If you are somebody who is dealing with post-pill amenorrhea, meaning you're having really long cycles that are like more than 35 to 40 days, or you're not getting a period at all, so I should say irregular, very irregular periods or post-pill amenorrhea, you want to consider a few things. One, are you extremely underweight or are you extremely overweight? You want to look at your adrenals and your thyroid because those two glands are cascading down and impacting your ovaries and your capacity to ovulate. So you want to get some testing done maybe on your adrenals, see if your cortisol is high, on your thyroid to make sure you're not hypothyroid and make sure all of that is functioning properly. You want to make sure that you're eating a really supportive diet with certain nutrients like 
a good amount of healthy fats, a good amount of omegas. You want to make sure that you are getting enough zinc, vitamin C, and B vitamins. Oftentimes, certain vitamins like these get depleted when you are on the birth control pill. So making sure that you are replenishing and refilling those vitamins so that you can restore your cycle is really key. And having a diet filled with good healthy fats so that you have enough cholesterol to produce adequate estrogen to have a cycle in the first place is really key. So having things like salmon, avocado, flax seeds, eggs, all of those things in your diet is really, really important. Now, a lot of women go on the birth control pill, like I mentioned at the beginning, to manage really heady periods. This can be problematic too, and you wanna make sure that you're not doing this to try to manage your symptoms because if you come off, the symptoms of that really heavy period is likely going to still be there. And so getting to the root of this is really important. And oftentimes this is due to excessive or high estrogen levels. So if your estrogen levels are really high and you have really heavy periods, some things that you can do are taking a supplement like DIM, methane. This is going to help balance and normalize your estrogen levels. You can also start to take some B vitamins, which can help to normalize estrogen levels. Take turmeric to help with the lining of your endometrium and to reduce any sort of inflammation that may be going on there. And supplement with iron and meadow leaf tea because that is gonna help to restore your iron levels after having a really heavy period. And that's really critical for things like your energy levels. If you are somebody who gets really bad cramping, this is likely due to prostaglandin levels, especially if you're getting cramping maybe around ovulation. So, and even during your cycle as well. So if you wanna support heavy cramping and start to manage that more effectively in a more holistic way, a few things that you can do. One is take a supplement, usually in a tincture form, called cramp bark. You can also take an omega that can help with reducing inflammation. From there, making sure that you are eating an anti-inflammatory whole food diet, working on your pelvic floor, strengthening your pelvic floor, doing pelvic floor exercises can help with cramping. You can also use a heating pad or take a supplement like magnesium. This can really help to start to calm the muscles in that area and help with pain and cramping. If you are somebody who is struggling with acne coming off the pill, you want to make sure that you're supplementing with things like vitamin A, zinc, and an omega to help reduce inflammation in the skin. You also want to make sure you're avoiding things like dairy and sugar because those things are pro-inflammatory and can cause both disruption in the gut flora and breakouts on the skin. Spot treating with something like tea tree oil is a really great holistic way to spot treat breakouts and just making sure that you're avoiding conventional beauty products that have chemicals in them at all costs because they can just further disrupt hormonal balance. Oftentimes women coming off the pill had issues with mood swings. And so if this is you and you feel irritable because your hormones are really transitioning, right? There's a huge shift that starts to happen. You can try supplements like L-theanine, which is an amino acid that is really calming and helps to make the brain feel calm. Or you can try GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps the brain feel more stable, helps you to feel less irritable. And it, those are two really great supplements to help with mood swings post pill. So if you are coming off the pill, you really want to make sure that you are eating a whole food, nutrient dense diet and that you are balancing and stabilizing your blood sugar. This is going to play a huge role in balancing all of the rest of your hormones. So make sure that you are eating at least three times a day and getting adequate amounts of protein and fiber at every single meal to keep your blood sugar nice and stable. You want to make sure that you are also working on your gut flora because this can get really knocked out of whack when you're on the birth control pill. Those bad bacteria can start to overgrow because of the way that the birth control pill impacts your estrobilum, which is the estrogen balance in your microbiome. From there, you want to make sure that your liver is properly in working function and that you are really focusing on the health of your liver because your liver is where you are detoxifying excess estrogens and you want to get rid of all of that synthetic estrogen that you were taking when you were on the birth control pill. So you can use supplements like a dandelion root tea or milk thistle to really help your body and help 
your whole system start to detoxify any sort of excess hormones that may be lingering around. So from that place, if you're looking to reset and resync your cycle, seed cycling is a really great idea. We have recipes on the app that are great for seed cycling, adding pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds and sunflower seeds at different times in your cycle. From there to resync everything and get everything on a very like even keeled timeline every 20 days or so, you can use supplements like vitamin C to help boost progesterone levels, Vitex, which is a great herb to help balance estrogen and progesterone levels, and Dong Quai, which is a really great herb that's used in Chinese medicine. You wanna make sure that you are tracking your periods so, so that you know is everything running on the right timeline? Am I ovulating on day 12, 13, 14? Are my periods, you know, 27 to 33 days? That's about how long they should be. Are they regular? Is it happening consistently every single month? And last thing, you really wanna make sure to re-regulate everything, that you're on a good circadian rhythm, that you're getting enough sleep, at least eight hours a night, that's gonna help with your stress hormones and so that your other hormones can be produced and balanced more naturally. You wanna make sure that you're getting some direct sunlight in the morning and that you're not overly stressed. Stress management is such a key component of this. Just make sure that you are relaxing and finding techniques that work for you to help with stress management. I hope that this was a really informative video, whether you are coming off of the pill and transitioning really easily and you just want to fill in some nutritional gaps, or if you are coming off the pill, you have post pill amenorrhea, irregular periods, or if you're coming off the pill and you have really heavy, painful, crampy cycles. There are so many different things that you can do to heal holistically. And if you like this video, you can subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know what other hormonal balance issues you wanna hear me talk about, and we will make sure to hit that next when we are recording our YouTube videos.